morning routine. <clears throat> so, um, I will, <clears throat> I guess it's the morning for me, so my voice is a little gone. So this might work for a nice voice. Um, so I'm going to go through my morning routine with some of my products here. Um, and hopefully it's enjoyable for you. So, when I start off in the morning, I put on a headband so my hair gets out of my face. And I put my hair up in a hair tie so it gets out of my way so it's long. And then what I'll do, my toothbrush is over there, but I will use Colgate toothpaste to brush my teeth. And, um, I use the regular kind because I don't need, I don't feel the need to whiten my teeth or, um, do anything special with it. So I just use this and I like to squeeze from the top or the bottom all the way down so I get the most bang out of my buck. And here's the cap. I just pop it open and squeeze it onto my toothbrush and close it back up. And then I'll just kind of put it back down over here sometime. Then after I'm done brushing my teeth, I don't really have that extensive of a Routine, but I will take a bar of Dove soap and I'll wash my face with gentle circles all over after I've gotten it wet with the water from the sink. And then I'll rinse my face off and I'll dry it gently with a towel. And I'll wash under my arms and my chest and my back. And then I will use Tom's deodorant because uh, my cousin told me that most deodorants have an aluminum base, which could, they have found correlations with that for causing breast cancer in women. At Tom's, the um, unscented ones, at least, and some of the scented ones, um, don't have that. So I found this in the Nature's Market section of my grocery store, and it's got 24-hour odor protection, and it has no animal treating or animal ingredients. It has no artificial colors flavors, don't know why you would be tasting it, fragrances, or preservatives. Um, they share every ingredient, its purpose, and its source at their website. It, they use sustainable practices. They strive to maximize recycled content and recyclability of their packaging. And 5% of employee time is spent on volunteer work. And 10% of profits go to human and environmental goodness. And it just opens like this. And it looks a little different than normal deodorant. Like this. Um, and it feels a little different too because it doesn't have that aluminum base. But, um, once you get used to it, um, it works and does the job of hiding your odors, um, when you smell or you get sweaty like I do all the time when I dance or I teach, dance, and this is my deodorant. And then my favorite product that I splurge on. The only thing I actually splurge on 
is my moisturizer, Dermalogica Active Moist. My dad um, is a hairstylist and he owns his own hair salon and day spa. So the um, cosmetologist there a few years ago recommended this to me and ever since I have loved it. And he's changed his cosmetologist a couple times, so now I have to buy this. Um, and it's about 50 to $60. Dollars. Um, but it's very worth it. It lasts for a really long time. A couple, few years, actually. Um, it's very soft. It's recommended for skin with excess oil production. And since I am Italian, half Italian, that definitely is an issue for me. Um, and it's lightweight oil-free lotion for daily moisture protection that actively combats surface dehydration. Sheer, easy-to-apply formula contains silk, amino acids, and a unique combination of plant extracts that help smooth and improve the skin's te texture. Natural botanical astringents of lemon, cucumber, and burdock help to refine the skin. It contains no artificial fragrance or color. And this is the 3.4 fluid ounce size. And I'm not gonna waste it because I have the thing about wasting my products. But it's a spin top lid that opens like this. And all I need is this little dab on the top. So I'll get it on my finger like this. Um, and then I'll close it up and I'll flip it gently, put it back and I'll take the moisturizer and I'll put it on both sides of my fingers and I'll dab it onto five areas or four, one, two, three, four and then I'll just start to rub it in on my face like this and I don't watch myself when I do it. Probably it's a dancer thing, but I like to feel kinesthetically where I'm putting it. So I rely on my kinesthetic, my touch, my sense of, of feel and motion so that I know where I've put it and how my skin feels after. Um, and normally that gets rid of it on my fingers. And then my eyes are kind of almond shaped in my eyelids kind of touch each other so I use a um, liquid eyeliner. I use the Ultra Liner by Maybelline and it's this happens to be waterproof and all I do is I line from the half half of my lid out up to the corner of my um, eyebrow and I open it gently up right up and all I need is this so I'll start halfway and I'll close my eye and I'll go up I'll start at the corner and I'll make the corner a little bit heavier and then I'll do both sides I've had a lot of experience with this so I don't really need um, to go over it too much um, or to redo it but sometimes I do which is annoying and some days I'll put on mascara and some days I won't, like today I'm not, because I have pretty long eyelashes and I don't really wear makeup. This is all that I wear. Um, but what I do use is the one that my mom gets me for Christmas. I never really paid for m a makeup before because I just don't use it. So this is by L'Oreal and it is voluminous, the original. And it is the blackest black. H400 and I like um, the matte type um, product um, packaging it has. It's not shiny. Well, it's shiny, but it's like matte. Um, and you just twist it and pull it open. And here it is. And for this one, I just do my top lids. Um, and I'll watch myself do this one in my eyeliner. Um, and then I will switch to my other hand for my left side because um, 
when I do it with my right, I tend to get this part on my nose. I don't like washing it off. And then I'll just stick it right back on top, like this. I'll put it here. And then if I um, need to put lotion on, which I normally do on my legs, I will use my favorite. This is another product that I will go out of my way to purchase, which I don't normally do when it comes to toiletries and uh, products for women, is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And I find that this works the best, and I love how this feels. I love how it sounds, too. It's like, how is it? It's not just smooth like it is on top. It's kind of um, a little rubbery, I guess, and soft, and I love it. So this is dermatologist recommended. Um, it's clinically proven to relieve dry skin, and I can attest to that. I have very dry skin. It moisturizes for 24 hours, and I get the fragrance free. Um, it's natural colloidal oatmeal. This is the 12 fluid ounce. And um, all I do to open it is um, I will close it because I'm a little paranoid about wasting my products. So I'll click it open and I'll push down. Normally like two. I'll close it again. Put it back. I always put it back. This is the one place in my home where I keep things organized. Everything else is messy. And I'll um, just, I won't rub it. I'll just put it so I get two parts. And let's say this is my leg. I'll put one hand on four spots on one leg and the other hand on four spots on the other. And then I'll rub it in all over my leg. And then on the other side, getting it all over. And then I'll take both hands and just go over it again, just to make sure that I got everywhere. And then it feels so refreshing. It is a dancer. It's really nice because it's, um, it doesn't have too many oils in it, I don't think. Or I haven't experienced that. It's not oily. I don't like things that are oily because I have oily skin. Um, so it doesn't get on my marley floors when I'm dancing um, in my booty shorts. Um, it doesn't really leave anything on the floor. And I'll always do this in the morning or right after I get done um, shaving so that it can dry, I guess, or moisturize my skin enough so it doesn't get anywhere. Um, let's see. What else? Sometimes, um, since my hair is curly, when it's wet, sometimes I will put in this product. I don't have to pay for hair products because my dad is a hair stylist. So, um, I just use what he gives me. I don't use this too much though. This is by Farmisi, and it's the glaze. And it holds the curl while not making it too crazy. I'm not using it today because I'm lazy and I don't really use it a lot. Um, and let's see. It is a lightweight glaze that creates a strong hold. Glaze builds body and volume while giving the hot, the hair soft, touchable definition. Thermal and UV protection. Your hair, your style, your way, be yourself. One thing I don't like about these products for curly hair is I don't like the crispy feel that they give. And this one doesn't really give that feel when you use the right amount. So I'll pop open the top. I'm not actually going to do this. Um, but I'll, all I need to do is kind of give it a gentle squeeze so it makes just um, a little kind of puddle in my hand. And this one I'll rub together in my hands like this. And then I'll squeeze it in various parts of my hair first. Um, and I'll put it on there. And then I'll just kind of squeeze it through and go through with it. Um, making sure that it's not caked on to one area, but that it's gently through and it kind of controls my hair. Um, when it gets really frizzy, but it has to be wet first or else it'll get really crispy. Um, so that's that product. And this is the same thing, only by Paul Mitchell. 
Um, I put this in here because I recently went to a conference, and so I had to travel so I couldn't take that big one. As you can see, <laughs> I didn't use any of it. I don't really use these products. Um, so this does the same thing, but this is what it looks like. It's just a clear um, jelly liquid. Oh, a main thing that I do, I wear contacts, um, unless I'm putting my glasses on. Um, so this is my contact case that I'll use, or the white one. Um, so every morning I will pop it open, open it up, they're already in my eyes, and um, take them out, put them in. I have to look, and I pop it in the side instead of the front, because I, I gross, get grossed out still. And I use um, the by Alcone, the Pure Moist by OptiFree. Um, this I just started using because my eye doctor recommended it. And it is really, really good. I don't really have to rub my contacts too much. They stay nice and moisturized. I don't get that burn um, that I normally do. I use it, I reuse it every morning. Unless I'm running out, then I'll just be bad and I'll use it a couple days in a row. Um, and it is a multi-purpose disinfecting solution specially designed to provide comfort and moisture from insertion to removal, lens cushioning, removal of protein deposits and reduction of li lipid deposition. Um, and I like how it says, please remember to recycle. I'm a recycle freak. Um, and I love the tops for it. Um, I wish it was a twist top for when I travel so then I wouldn't have to worry about it spilling, but I really like how it opens. And it's very squishy, squishy plastic. So that is that. Um, at night I wear my retainers, and this is my Mary Kay. This is so old, I think it's at least five years old. Um, a student gave it to me for my makeup removal. The only times I really use it is when I have a um, show and I have to wear stage makeup um, for dance, but I don't really use it clearly that much. But you just shake it up so it mixes the oil and the other parts together and the top is really heavy. And I just put it on um, a piece of toilet paper actually. I don't use cotton balls because toilet paper is always in my bathroom. And it really just gets the job done in one swipe. So it's re a really good makeup remover. I just don't use it a lot. And um, now I have to get to church <laughs> since it's Sunday for me. So I hope that this was enjoyable and relaxing. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to ASMR you soon. <laughs>